We often think of the universe as a singular entity, a vast expanse of space and time that encompasses everything we know and experience. But what if our universe is just one of many? What if there are countless other universes, each with its own unique laws of physics, its own history, and its own possibilities? This mind-bending concept, known as the multiverse, has captured the imagination of scientists, philosophers, and science fiction enthusiasts alike. In this video, we'll delve into the intriguing world of N-universes, a specific framework within the multiverse hypothesis that proposes the existence of multiple universes with varying perimeters and properties. We'll explore the theoretical foundation of N-universes, the different types of multiverses that have been proposed, and the potential implications of this concept for our understanding of reality, cosmology, and even the meaning of life itself. We'll examine the evidence for and against the existence of a multiverse, consider the philosophical and scientific challenges it poses, and ponder the mind-boggling possibilities it opens up. Whether you're a physicist seeking a deeper understanding of the cosmos, a philosopher grappling with the nature of reality, or simply someone intrigued by the idea of parallel worlds, this exploration promises to challenge your assumptions and spark a sense of wonder about the vastness and complexity of existence. And who knows? Perhaps the next breakthrough in our understanding of the multiverse will be inspired by someone watching this video right now. The answers to these cosmic mysteries may not lie in textbooks or telescopes, but in the balanced curiosity and imagination of those who dare to question the known and explore the unknown. The concept of in-universes, introduced by philosopher Paul Franceschi, offers a unique tool for exploring complex philosophical problems and paradoxes. These simplified models of the universes are stripped down to their essential components, making it easier to analyze and understand the underlying logic of thought experiments and hypothetical scenarios. In the realm of philosophy, thought experiments often involve intricate situations with numerous variables and potential outcomes. This complexity can make it difficult to isolate specific factors and draw meaningful conclusions. In universes, by reducing these situations to their core elements, provide a framework for simplifying the analysis and focusing on the most relevant aspects of the problem at hand. Franceschi first introduced the concept of any universes in 2001, applying it to the study of Goodman's paradox, a philosophical puzzle concerning the nature of induction and prediction. Since then, in universes have been utilized in the analysis of various thought experiments and paradoxes, including those related to the doomsday argument, a probabilistic argument about the future of humanity. The in-universes model draws inspiration from two main sources, the system of criteria developed by Nelson Goodman, a philosopher of language and logic, and the ontological framework of John Leslie, a Canadian philosopher known for his work on the doomsday argument and the multiverse. Within the in-universes framework, we can distinguish different types of universes based on various criteria, one being constant versus variable criteria. Some universes may have fixed properties, like a constant color or temperature while others may have variable properties that change over time or space. Number two being number of objects. Some universes may contain a single object, while others may have multiple objects interacting with each other. Number three being demultiplication. This refers to whether a given criterion, such as color, can be applied to multiple objects simultaneously or only a single object at a time. And number four being one-one versus many-one relationships. This describes the relationship between objects and criteria. In a one-one relationship, each object has a unique value for a given criterion, while in a many-one relationship, multiple objects can share the same value for a criterion. By systematically varying these criteria, philosophers can create a wide range of simplified universes, each representing a different possible scenario or configuration of elements. These simplified universes can then be used to test the logical consequences of different assumptions and explore the implications of various philosophical theories. And who knows, perhaps by applying the in-universes framework to complex philosophical problems, we can gain new insights and perspectives that could lead to breakthroughs in our understanding of the mind, reality, and the nature of existence itself. To better understand how in-universes work, let's visualize a simple example. Imagine a universe with only four objects. These objects exist at a single point in time, but they are spread across four distinct locations in space. Additionally, these objects can be one of three colors, red, blue, or green. In this in-universe, the relationship between the objects and the criteria of time, space, and color are as follows. One being time, all four objects exist simultaneously at a single point in time, representing a many-to-one relationship between objects and the time criterion. Furthermore, they do not exhibit demultiplication, meaning they only exist at this single temporal position. Number two is space. 
each object occupies a unique location in space, resulting in a one-to-one -one relationship between objects and the space criterion. And number three is color. Multiple objects can share the same color, indicating a many-to-one relationship between objects and the color criterion. For example, two objects could be red, one blue, and one green. This simplified universe, defined by a limited set of objects and criteria, allows us to analyze various philosophical questions and scenarios within a controlled and manageable framework. For instance, we can explore questions about identity, change, and the nature of time by manipulating the properties of the objects or the temporal dimension of this in-universe. By creating and manipulating these simplified models, philosophers can gain insights into complex philosophical problems that might be difficult to analyze in the real world, where countless variables and factors are at play. In-universes provide a valuable tool for testing the logical implications of different assumptions and theories, ultimately advancing our understanding of the world and our place within it. We ventured into the fascinating world of in-universes, a conceptual tool designed to simplify and analyze complex philosophical problems and paradoxes. We've explored how these simplified models of universes, with their carefully defined objects and criteria, can help us isolate key variables, test logical implications, and gain deeper insights into the nature of reality, time, and knowledge. While in-universes may seem abstract and theoretical, their applications are far-reaching. They have been used to tackle perplexing questions like Goodman's Paradox and the Doomsday Argument, offering a fresh perspective on these age-old philosophical puzzles. If this exploration has sparked your interest, I encourage you to delve deeper into the works of Paul Franceschi and other philosophers who have utilized in-universes in their research. Explore the various applications of this tool and consider how it might be used to address other philosophical questions that have yet to be fully answered. And who knows? Perhaps by embracing the in-universe's framework and applying your own creativity and critical thinking, you might be the one to unlock new insights and breakthroughs in the field of philosophy. The power of imagination and logical reasoning can lead us to unexpected discoveries and a deeper understanding of the world around us. Thank you everyone for watching. My name's The Big Why. Don't forget to drop a like, and if you're new to the Why Not family, a follow. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.